All right, welcome back. It's chilly fall afternoon out here at Mr. Dave's place. Um, today we're doing Monocacy Brewing out of Frederick, Maryland. Yes. So what do we got today, Stephen? All right, we got we got a sample. So we went up on a field trip on Thursday, picked out all the beers we wanted to get, and then went in to buy them. And they said, well, we've got two that aren't on tap. And we're like, well, we're going to try those. <laughs> so uh, a couple of them we've had before, but um, two of them are new uh i think overall we were impressed i think overall we score was probably about a b b plus their beers were all really well done they, they a couple of them weren't really to are like stuff that we were into yeah like that christmasy one yeah i i like that one it kind of grew on me but it, it was interesting it, it was like it, pine it too and early spicy though? But I mean, they weren't they weren't marketing it as a Christmas beer. Oh. It was just it, it um it was a it was a, du a dry hop saison, mm -hmm. and the the hops they were using had sort of a resiny piney aroma, uh, and then you get some spiciness because it was a saison, so it gave a very Christmassy feel. It was a good beer. It, it was interesting. There were a lot of interesting flavors. So yeah. for them, it was just a fall beer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think it. Yeah. But their beers were all clean, like uh, Stephen likes, like just crisp, clear oh, yeah. beers. He likes and they have really good notes on the can. So if you're a beer nerd, you definitely want to read the cans. So I think we're going to start off with their Brutiful Lager. Mm -hmm. So um, they have a whole series of beers that are part of the Blank Slate series. This is number 93. That's a golden lager. Um, I, I don't know. You want me to go into all the details? It's up to you. All right. So appearance is a veil of haze, very pale straw color, bright white foam. Aroma is light sulfur, delicate floral and spicy notes, barely discernible citrus zest character against a backdrop of soft malt tones, biscuit, toast, and gently roasted almond, and subtly mm, sweet biscuits. aromatics. They forgot creamy mouthfeel. <laughs> uh, taste is low bitterness, brief flash in the finish, <coughs> steadily diminishing. Uh, light body, lively carbonation. Um, grist bill is grease, two row malt, grease, <laughs> wheat malt. That. Very maybe, maybe you don't have felt. to read the whole can. Maybe just summarize. summarize. Were they an English major before brewing? Like, I'm starting to feel like we're in a like chapter a of fucking novel. On that. We're in a chapter yeah, of yeah. Wuthering Heights. And then the hops. Like, I gotta take a shit. Somebody though. give me a beer can to read. <laughs> <laughs> they call it the hop bill, not the hop charge, but it's German pearl, sterling, and Willamette. Wow. Ooh, pearl. That word, the wording must be really small to fit it all onto that can. Yeah. It's well, very they charged them extra. Well, you That's a lot of characters. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of characters. So it that. sounds like it's it's more or less a, a... Is this not the one we drank? I think we did have this one. Okay, yeah, because I really like this one. This one was a lot like Hank. Uh-oh, where's my glass? I think this is a pretty straightforward interpretation of a German pills. That's a lot of words for a Hank like beer. <laughs> <laughs> Hank is just like, drink me. Yeah, right? right. Henry, yeah. where'd you go to get wet? Yeah, I'm wondering the same thing. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it pulled pores nice, nice, clear, uh, golden color. Mm. A little bit of a head, white head. It has a nice color to it. Mm, white head. Why does it got to be white? But yeah, it has a. Has, they, mm. they did Steve, nail it with the Stephen, I, I don't see any of these words you were just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I made all did that you make all that up? <laughs> I did. But yeah, you need to go to the optometrist. <laughs> Friends, Romans, countrymen, <laughs> lend me your ear. sulfur and some um, graininess in the aroma. Let's finish that off. I don't think this is the one we had. Let me see the note cards. Ooh. Hey, it smells good. Yeah, we did take notes. Oh, you took note cards. Yeah, so it's really cool. So if you go visit them, they give you... Uh, this is the one we had. Crisp, well done. Um, but can yeah, I, can go, I see the note card? Yeah, they give you a flight card, and they have room on the flight card for you to write down your notes. So if you're a real beer nerd or I don't you're want interested to, I don't in want to go back to the words here. finding says, a beer says, that um, Steve and I love. you want to come back <laughs> to. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. I really like when, they, when breweries do that. Yeah. So you can tell Steven's notes are like all legit. <laughs> <laughs> Mine are like, man. Well, my, my rating system was met or yum. Met or yum. Met. <laughs> so we rated all the beers. I didn't want to get too too deep in the wood. I think the church key gave us tasting the tasting cards as well. Yeah. I like church key. No, we're not doing sticks. Go all find right. your ball. I, I recall that you wrote a novel for each, each of the beers. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, you got to hit. You got. You got to hit aroma. So I like appearance, this one. I, I, I enjoy it. Mm. You know what's interesting about this? It says nothing yeah, about smoke, but it, there's like something behind it. Like I don't know if it's from the uh, Brice Blonde roast malt or the uh, or the flaked oats, maybe. I don't know. Something behind it. It does have a creamy mouthfeel. Yeah, a little. I mean, that's that's just the, the style as well. It's pretty Your good. Feels tend to be a little. It's good because they're it's highly carbonated. Mm -hmm. This is now, this is a, this is a really good interpretation of the style. Uh... When we had it on draft, I think my notes were that it it had a little bit of a too sweet of. This might be like the Shiner box, oh, though. But um, tell you. They very tell light. This one, oh, uh, in cans, it has a nice clean finish. It doesn't really say good. anywhere. What about, why Hint of bubble. Why can't I not oh find no. Them in yeah. Yeah. Well, it, that's the saison that I was trying. Will it have different characteristics in the in the flavor? Can you didn't take any notes it can, because um, there are. I mean, uh, when you're doing it from a, ke a keg, there um, the carbonation can fluctuate a lot more than it would with or the so small, can't see with the cans. Yeah. Um, nope. All the can basically it's consistency. If you're going for a can, all the cans are going to be the same if they were bottled with yeah. or canned at three, the same time. Three, four. Um, plus the beer in the can doesn't age; it's pretty much sealed off. Whereas in a keg, you can have air and get into it if it's an older keg yeah um and so it can actually change flavor over time and then if they don't set up the keg lines right mm. it could oh. it, it could be add flavor crystals yeah there there could be if they're not cleaning the keg lines then yeah and, here and then the serving the serving pressure toast. on the Maybe keg will affect the flavor because hmm. the carbonation Gently roasted almond that's probably yeah versus the a hardly mm. roasted almond abused Essence. I get all those. There's a lot of good flavor in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a great, a great example it's, of the beer because it's supposed to be not light, flavorful, and then easy to drink. And so I, it's a golden lager. Yeah, that's what they they described it as. That's really well done. I like that one. Hey. That's my number one so far. How many? <laughs> <they didn't> <laughs> How many breweries are there in Frederick? It seems like they, I, I I would guess there's at least half a dozen. If not more. There's wow. I know there's at least three because I've been to them. Yes, I know. I know. I'm surprised. Like, every week we're like. Okay. Yeah, All right. So good. that's that was Brutiful Lager. Brutiful Lager. Okay. Brutiful right, number two lager. is this is one of the ones we didn't try. They didn't have this one on draft, but they had lots of cans. Really? How the fuck we're in the middle of the country? Piss well, off, airplane man. So, yeah, the weekenders always fly over Lovettsville. What's that guy, DB? Can DB, you blame him? You blame him? No, it's such a DB now. Cooper. Yeah, DB <laughs> Cooper. He's still looking for his money. All right. So number two, we've got um, this is one we had we didn't try on draft. <laughs> This is also from the Blank Slate series, number 97. Pay attention. Fucking guys are always just goofing off in class. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Professor is talking. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Can't hear him over the... Oh. This is serious. <laughs> <laughs> what we're doing is important. <laughs> so this is... Uh, it's 10 a.m. somewhere. It's their mimosa <laughs> citrus beer. Ooh. Um, I will Ooh. give you the highlights. Yeah, yeah. So hey. parents... Oh, turbid. That's a good... A good turbid, word. Mm. turbid, orange, yellow tinted foam. Hold on, hold on. What does turbid? Is that mean? like tepid wearing a turban? No, I don't no, no. exactly know. I know that when um, <laughs> you can't say "oh, good word" and then not know what the fuck it means. I have sort of. I, I can't define it, but I have like an idea. I, I think it's a fancy way of saying it's it's hazy or cloudy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> turbid. Of course you know. You sure. And um, <laughs> aroma is citrus, orange, peach, apricot, apple, pear, mango, and vinous. Venus. Venus. Like wine. How the fuck does it smell like Venus. a planet? <laughs> Venus. Is that, you sure it's as not Venus? It's not Uranus. <laughs> Venus. <laughs> Turbid Venus. <laughs> Stop uh, throwing the can, Stephen. <laughs> taste is slightly tart, low bitterness with slight lingering um, from uh, orange pith. Damn, pith? Texture is full body, delicate astringency, um, and slight alcohol heat. So I won't get into the grist bill. Yeah. That's good. Let's get into drinking it. You want me to get some other beers while Stephen reads these beers? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, special editions. They added oat flour no, and panic. orange, apricot, and peach. So it is going to be hazy. They added oat flour to give it a hazy complexion. Oat flour. Wow. I'm excited to try this one. Sounds good. I, I think John Eric will like this one. You're you're a you're a, a mimosa Henry. aficionado. Henry. I do like yes. mimosa. No, wrong. It has that look. I was like, come on, man. So I just got done talking about how clean all their beers were and we'll pop a hazy one open. Well, three of them are hazies. We've got this one and then two uh, New England IPAs. But yeah, it, it pours a nice hazy Oh, we got the New England one that we drink out of the can? 
Yeah, there's two. Yeah, that one's really good. I think even Mr. Dave will like that. A little bit of a head. Mr. Dave. It's pretty nice. Yeah, the aroma is a lot of... Ironically, it's like oh, there's a lot of grain. Get, um, graininess. Do you even know what Monica's is? No, what's the milk thing they put yeah. in it? It's a real thing. Oh, is lactose? It yeah. Is it, is it called Monaco? Yeah. It is a good breakfast beer. I don't even know. <clears throat> are these are these also don't have the ABV on them? Oh, uh, I don't know. We didn't. We we were looking, but... We can't find them on any of them. That's what we were talking about when we got in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would drink this at the Alamo Draft House at 8 a.m. showing of a movie. That would that'd be good. Oh, this smells good. Oh. Is it sour? But the flavor it's is good. It's tart. really good. No, it's not super. It's tart. It's not sour, like yeah, you said. Tart. And tart and sweet. And then finish is pretty clean, I like actually, for a, for a fruity beer. God, this is really good. I, I or maybe Mimosa I, citrus. Man, that's a lot of notes. That is really good. You need some chicken and waffles to go with it. Yeah. <laughs> So at first I was thinking I like this, but I wondered if the oat, like too much of that powder, was kind of like, it's really weird. I wouldn't say creamy mouthfeel, but definitely something in the back end. Just number two? Mm. Uh, yeah. Definitely so far. something on the back end. <laughs> oh, 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 Feel, oh. I'm feeling it. <laughs> I'm feeling it. Just a tip. Moment of turgidity. Let's see if I can find this one. Mimosa. Turgidity. 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 <laughs> Is that where it tastes like a turd? And but rigid too. <laughs> you don't like that? I, you know, it started off really interesting, but once it gets to the middle, then on the back end, it turns into like almost like a, uh, almost like a really sweet citrus, and then it rolls into something not so pleasant. But it's not awful. But it's also just, I mean, maybe it's just they, they put too much into it. I don't know. I like the apricot. Is that what that is? I can is taste it? that apricot. Yeah. I like that. Mm. Here we go. Maybe I should let it warm down a little bit. Maybe oh, they this. don't have this one on their website. Or at least I can't find it. Well, warm you couldn't up. even find the tap list. Last That's because they, it was, I hate fucking hamburger menus. A goddamn mobile interface. <laughs> just put your shit on the page. <laughs> Why do I gotta go hunting for I'm shit? I'm surprised they do that. It's Why really hard. You gotta go. Click. Yeah, yeah. Click. I was like, oh my god, Steven, it's so hard to find. <laughs> Come on, technology's hard, guys. Chauncey, <laughs> what have we talked about? No talk about hamburger menus. <laughs> <laughs> what is a hamburger menu anyway? Oh, that, the three lines. The three lines that you're supposed to click to. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's called a hamburger menu. Never. It looks kind of like a hamburger. It's the dumbest oh, name ever. Oh, okay. Steven knows my way. Oh, because you pop one and then it expands? Mm -hmm. expands? Oh, yeah, well, I don't yeah. realize that. Is. Did kind you like, like the mimosa? I like that. That was good. <clears throat> I did I'm not care for it, but it, 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 be it had a lot of strength like against it. See, I like that one a lot. See all my choices. I think I'm just weird. Now, you like what you like, man. Don't don't judge yourself. <laughs> It's going to come out of your nose. Doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah, right. It's not. It's not. It's not. I, I'm under control, but that was pretty good. You almost got me. Uh, Sorry. Right, what's next? All right. So that's the mimosa beer. Up up next, we've got uh, number three is the Mountain Waves New this, England IP, IPA. This is good. So we did have this one um, in the can. All right. So uh, appearance, opaque golden straw beer color with off-white foam. Uh, aroma is ripe pineapple, pine needles, orange pith, and fresh peaches. Taste is a firm, lingering bitterness and a dry finish. Texture is full-bodied with slight coating effect in the finish. That's the creamy mouthfeel. Yeah. And then uh, their hop bill is Columbus Citra. Um, and then Columbus Citra. Well, so Columbus and Citra in the kettle, which is during the boil and whirlpool. And then Columbus Citra Mosaic and... Uh, Simcoe cryo hops as dry hop additions. This, yeah, I remember this. We were like, we, we like this one. We like this one a lot. We're speeding through beers. How many beers do we have to? We have five. Okay. I don't taste. You scared? No, but do you know what the next um, odd number after five is? Nancy? Seven. Seven. Tonight. What? Tonight. 
Oh. Fuck your boy. Fuck the Astros. <laughs> Fuck Tampa Bay for being a bunch of bitches. Uh, dude, I was like, oh it was my a, god, we're getting murdered. About that one, yeah. It was a good game last night. Yeah. I did enjoy watching it. Fucking Tampa That wasn't a good game. They ran away with it. I know. <laughs> bunch of cheating fucks. <laughs> I was happy because I knew Ruben was happy. <laughs> and Chauncey was not. <laughs> Dude, the first three games, I thought, oh, my God, we were getting yeah. murdered. Chauncey yeah. was a thousand percent right, and I was so wrong. Were you yelling at the TV? Cheat. Go ahead and cheat. No. I, I don't Somebody even... start banging a trash can. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I don't even have TBS, so I have to listen to it like an old man on uh, East Bay Radio. I'm like, oh, this is horrible. I love the smell of this one. Yeah. Yeah, really good aroma. The aroma or the, uh, <clears throat> yeah, this, this smells great. Yeah, oh man, this does actually. Yeah, this is more like uh, my speed here. Yeah, fresh peaches. But I will say this though: if I let the other one warm up, it actually tastes better. This one, as it warms up, gets even better. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to. Mm. But yeah, there's a lot of grapefruit and like uh, pith, like orange pith. Um, We're gonna have to get you a pith helmet. <laughs> Pithy. I'm, I'm gonna go round back the woodshed and take a pith later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, Mike Tyson? <laughs> I gotta bleed the piss. I see the piss. There's so many. One, two, three. Did, did any of you watch the Mike Tyson murder mysteries yet? No. Gotta watch Mike Tyson murder mysteries. Oh man. Ain't got no time for bird sex. <laughs> and it's just Joke him. On it. You gotta stop this. Man. It's just him getting pissed at these pigeons that keep fucking. <laughs> Now we're gonna get another E rating. <laughs> oh, do they independently rate us? No. Yeah, man. We get to be big time. Oh. Yeah, all with our thirty-nine subscribers. We're in the Ooh. big time. Hey, look, I'm gonna have my daughter single-handedly explode us in uh, Morgantown, maybe. <laughs> and you guys do tech. You know, the Christ boys. They can tech. they can look at all the college juice episodes. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say that the, the shitty Amber. beer episodes seem to be the most popular ones with the, the kids. Yes. <laughs> we have kids on there? Kids? Like, uh, oh, like, with kids. Okay. Yeah. 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 My kids, uh, Felix, Emer. Yeah. Uh, who else? I, there was a, somebody else. Somebody's kid was saying, oh, I love watching your guys. <laughs> well, well that years. first one was awesome because we had the, the rooster interjecting. It's play by play. <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think, Dave? I like it. I like the smell of uh, the the nose, the the, <laughs> the aroma. Um, I'm not going to read this because it's cheating, but <clears throat> I do like it. It's not very bitter. It's very right. New England style. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. Um, it's all in the flavor, but uh, uh, I, I do like it. But it's got it's got a lot of different flavors, and then just mm. a, a hint of the. It's got enough hops. Yes, and it's it's pretty smooth. It finishes off clean and. It it has a little bit of subtle, like almost citrus note, but not too strong where it doesn't overpower the hops. So I like that's I like it. Yeah. that's my number one now. But I know I got one that we got one in here that's even better. So is it so, clear? No, it is not clear. <laughs> so for you, three is one. Three one is, is one. two, and two is three. Three is three is one. Two is two. One is one. Oh, uh, the mimosa right now is my second. Okay, don't forget to get it. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm right there with you. It was a tie between the mimosa and the first beer, but that first beer I think wins out. Yeah, you yeah, like over this? Oh, I'm sorry. This is this is my number one. Yeah, uh, so far, so far. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm three one. You're three, yeah, three one, one two. two. I'm yeah, three two one. I'm okay. three two one. Or three. I'm I'm. You're one, three one two. One three two. One three two. You like the longer the best. I do. Thanks. But uh, is anyone surprised? I'm I'm never gonna pick a, a New England. As We're not throwing one. sticks right now. Henry, but this no, is no. a pretty good one. It's it's a uh, it's an it's really easy drinking too for an IPA. I yes. really wish we knew what the <clears throat> the ABV is on them. I c I can try to look it up. The ABV on most of their beers was surprisingly high. Can someone help him with the hamburger menu? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna jump over on Untapped and see if I can find it over there. Untapped. But while you do that, give me the next beer. I'll read the can. All right. <laughs> you know it's gonna read? take that long. All right. Well, I mean, so. I'm gonna have to sound a lot four score and seven years ago. <laughs> All right. So number four is another beer that they didn't have on tap, but oh, we we man. this is gonna be easy. We Hyperion's chaos. I mean, that's just a good fucking name. Hyperion's. What's a Hyperion anyway? Haven't you played Borderlands? <laughs> um, yeah, Borderlands. 
Hyperion, no, Hyperion is the bad guy corporation. Yeah. Oh. What and am it, I looking for? I'm looking for mountain waves, right? Yeah. It's a heavy, hazy orange color. It smells of citrus and stone fruit. Some mild tropical notes. Okay. There's a fruit called fruit. stone? In yeah, Los but it's like fucking hell on your teeth. <clears throat> oh. In Los Angeles, Hyperion was our sewage oh. treatment plant, too. <laughs> But not so, every pit is called... Mild, pit. lingering bitterness with a dry finish. Like a mango. Nobody, nobody cares mango. about the grist bill or the hot bill. Well, I do, oh, but, sure. but <laughs> nobody else does. <laughs> Literally nobody else. Uh, Did you find yeah, the yeah, actually is. Yeah, so the one we just had, so. number three, was 6.2%. That was 6.2. 6.2, this one? Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, the one you have many times. <laughs> Maybe that's what we should make one time, is an avocado jalapeno beer. Avocado. And maybe throw bacon in there for a good meal. And then Hyperion is 6.6. <laughs> All right, so this is 6.6. Oh, oh, stop. I'm going to have to start sitting on the end. Stop good to taste. Head. Just makes you poop. <laughs> <laughs> Can you use it as an alternative laxative? Did you know that avocados, like, when they used to be megafauna in yeah. North America? Yeah. They used to eat those and keep them around. That's why they make allergies. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> A lot of the same aroma. <laughs> no, they were big. Mega farms. Mega, mega. They were big. They don't, they don't, they're, they're all gone. Oh, with the dinosaurs? Similar aroma, but it's a little more lemony, <clears throat> I think. Significantly different taste, though. It's, um... Hey, can you guys kind of keep the whole, like, review down until we've had our... Yeah, yeah. Our, our, yeah, you guys are bogart. No, we haven't yeah, had anything yet. Yeah. Yeah. We're empty over here. It's less fruity, more hoppy. Oh. That's, kind of, that's just rude. John Eric's like, I thought it was all for me. I, I, thought, it was, I thought it came down to my end. It's, <laughs> look, it's like... We got plenty more. <laughs> okay. I'm good. Are we going to open He's another He's down one? there fi finishing up a funnel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, this one's better. It has a little more life. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Jesus. That's the second episode in a row I got beer poured on me. Talk yeah, but those pants, yeah, they're like better. They're they just rebel. Even... Well, I did that because of Chauncey. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> it's got well. a lot more punch. Yeah. It's got more hop charge. I don't like it when your charge. groin is wet. So the other one was a little, <laughs> so I thought it was a little lifeless. It, was, it had a lot of nice aroma to <laughs> flavors, <laughs> but there wasn't. It didn't have We're going to have to separate these two. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dave's going to like this one. What is Amarillo? It's a town in Texas. Well, I know it's that, but apparently it's a, a variety, hop, hop bill. A variety try to get there of by morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Only the know. old people are going to get that joke. <laughs> hey, I know what I'm here for. <laughs> <laughs> How come Texarkana doesn't have its own hop bill? <clears throat> I thought there was no beer in Texarkana. <laughs> there is beer in Texarkana. <laughs> you just can't bring it east of the Mississippi. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. It's not bitter. No. I kind of wish we had a heater out here because this is a little... You got, it's cold. Little Just put it right yeah. in. Put it in your, by your testicles. By my taint. Let me see. <laughs> you, you, have, you have right here. <laughs> you have a massive heat generator. <laughs> Stick it between your ass cheeks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> then it'll have a... <laughs> That's I'm a slight brown, dingleberry aroma. Skunky, some brown notes. Skunky lot, hot charge. A lot of turbidity. <laughs> <laughs> turbidity. <laughs> I thought it was turgid. Was it Tur turbid, turbid or turgid? Turgid. turbid? It was well. What they had on the can was turbid. Turbid. I don't know if I like this one better or not. I think I still like number three best. <clears throat> Henry, no sticks. So I'm gonna go this one actually. Yeah. This one's it's. Delightfully smooth. Very much like Dave Nelson. They're both very good. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Dave. Sorry. Mr. Dave. That's right. Mr. Dave. Yeah. Diggler. <laughs> Mr. Dave Diggler. <laughs> Dirt Diggler. I almost Dirt got Diggler. Him. I should have waited. You did. You did. Yeah. I, I had. <laughs> I almost. I got spit him. it the little into the front of my mouth, but I caught it back with the lip. But yeah. Oh goodness. That's good. That's not bad. All right, after you finish, make sure you clean your cup out because you're about to get the best beer. Oh, oh I don't know. I'm going to have to use some water. Hold on. All right, so. Mm. Now I'm going 4 3 1 2. I'm that was number four, right? 3 4 2 1 right now, I think. Three, four. Two and one both are pretty even. So four is one? No, three is one. Three I think I'm four, four is two. Four I like two. three. three two. I like I the first four, New England Steve, style IPA think? a little better. I like some of that, having uh, some of that pretty fruity good. flavors. Four or three. Four one. This one I think is three. No, this is two. Two. 
It's our own fucking episode of Number Wang. <laughs> That's Number Wang. That is Number Wang. I'm going to get a whiteboard out. Uh, <laughs> you know, we just put the That's leaves here and put the numerals for the leaves and maybe we'll remember what the... Any hobbies down there in separate set? No. No. <laughs> That's Number Wang. What about you, Simon? Yes. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a hit video on the history of Number Wang. Until I That's where Number Wang came from. I, dude, I know. I... All right, so okay. <clears throat> number five, we've got Brutus is, is a coffee imperial stout. Ooh. Oh, um, this one, though, is not barrel aged. Right, so the one they have on tap is the barrel aged. Which was really good. Um, the one in bottles is not barrel aged. Um, it is a, uh, I believe it's at like a 9.2%. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we, right, we really right, like the, the, the barrel uh, aged one on draft. So we'll, the guy that we, one of the bartenders, I order um, said he actually likes the bottled version better than the barrel aged version on draft. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't use it up off. John Eric still needs his serving. You know, I don't know if you guys know this, but, but um, yeah, this is an imperial coffee style. I was at Wegmans this weekend picking up some. I did not know that. No, well. <laughs> and and uh, and usually I get log cabin because I'm old school, right? Log but, cabin syrup. Yeah. Oh. I don't know, but... No maple. You may no, have to so, open another one. So my kids kids are maples, right? Yeah, you're definitely gonna have to. Oh. And um, so, I saw maple syrup, but then I saw right bottles are small. Oh yeah, I got oh, you, yeah. John Eric. Um, There's twelve ounces. <laughs> oh, that's a nice that's a nice bottle actually. Oh, squirrel! Squirrel! Way to get Sorry. sidetracked in the middle of your fucking <laughs> log cabin syrup well, well, story. Well, I'm gonna get around to it. Right? Is that um. They actually make uh, barrel bourbon or bourbon barrel. Yes. Whatever. Aged uh, uh, maple syrup. Maple syrup. Yeah. Is it good? It's I fucking bought some. phenomenal. Dude, I bought it? some. They used to carry it at Costco and I would buy them in bulk. Really? Did you buy the uh, super I'm high protein pancakes? No. It is. They got like a bear on the bourbon front of barrel them. aged maple Kodiak. syrup. Kodiak. Is that good for you? Or? Well, they're the best fucking pancakes. Really? <clears throat> yeah. The best pancakes I think I ever had was when IHOP used to high put protein cream of wheat in Premium mouthfeel. Premium mouthfeel. Dude, that's I'm right. also high protein. That's not true. Yes. That's an urban legend. No, it was down south, and I was upset when I came up here and they didn't have them. I was like, They have the Bojangles. Oh, that's they really? as good, if no. not better. Bojangles used to be yeah. awesome. I just want to see them. I don't know if they did anymore. I, I, I like You them. know, I think the one we had on draft was oh, yeah, a little smooth. nice. smoother. Um, because there was some sweetness coming from the barrel aging, right. I think, maybe. This oh, one this has is, a more of a bitter Did you read this at all? Finish. No, I didn't. I didn't want to get yelled at. I'm going to read this in my Orson, <laughs> Orson Welles. <laughs> Why from don't the, you read it so Chauncey can yell at you this time? <laughs> from the shadows of a dark and opulent curtain spring, the robust aromas of locally roasted coffee and hearty malts, deep-seated hot bitterness rallies with these conspirators delivering a well-balanced thrust of assertive flavors to a blended titan. That's what I do. Raise Arr. a glass in celebration a well of liberating taste. Of flavor. <laughs> I have a well-balanced oh, man. Of flavor. I want to meet this person. Who's up here yeah. writing this stuff? This is like Agatha Christie. But uh, yeah, they got, they got some pretty good copy. What do, you, what do you think of that? I like it. You know, I like I it more now would. that I, I that, like that my people are representing because uh, there's no beaners making. Beaners. Yes, Tom Flores. <laughs> Dude, Tom no, Flores no is the brewmaster. Do you know him? No. <laughs> but, <laughs> but what? Wait, because all of them well, yeah, know each other. Yeah, I'm not, what you're trying I, to say. We're brothers from another mother. <laughs> so yeah, Tom, Tom Flores, you're kicking Tom, ass, man. Tom Flores is. I mean, do you know him? No. Oh. no, but I, you know what I do know? <laughs> That's I know his, definitely not a... You know what I do know? What? His email address. Okay, well... Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, Monocacy, they share a brewer. The guy that works at... The brewer, head brewer at Brewer's Alley. Also brews for uh, Monocacy. I like Brutus. Well, let's, go, let's go meet Flores. That's so, a lot of times when you uh, have uh, coffee stouts, it's almost like um, it can go one of two ways, um, mm -hmm. if they're not well done anyway. Like, it just tastes like a stout. Or it just tastes like a cup of coffee. Um, what I really like about this one is that they, it, it's a really complex beer, and you get all the different flavors. Um, so it, it tastes like a stout. It, you get the coffee in the aroma yeah. and the flavor, but it's not like any one of them is dominating. Mm -mm. The coffee doesn't overpower. Yeah. Right. It's a nice balance. Man, this is pretty good. I want to pour it in another coffee. <laughs> and it's you know it's got the ABV as well to kind of. 
Okay, I got a dumb question. Damn, that's good. Coffee stout, no caffeine, right? I think I think you do get a little bit of caffeine. It depends on how the coffee flavor is added. Mm -hmm. Dumb question. But, there are um, no dumb questions. How, Only dumb how is people. How done, Stephen? <laughs> there's lot. There's a couple different ways you can do, do it. Do they grind um, it up? So you would get. You would um, usually, if you're adding coffee, you will get negligible amounts of caffeine in it. But on the scale, um, when you think about it, when you're adding coffee for flavor, you're not really adding enough to have a caffeinated beverage. Yeah. So there's caffeine in there, but not enough. Like it's not like that four loco green thing that, that <laughs> yeah, John no. Eric brought that <laughs> one. Time. And when they do that, do they actually just throw the they beans definitely... in there, or they grind? So it there's up? lots. Of, I don't know what they did specifically. There's a lot of different ways you could do it. You can brew. You could brew coffee, either hot brew it or cold brew it, and then add the coffee directly to the beer. Yeah. Um, wait, wait. You after also, the beer's already been through the fermentation process, you would probably add it. Yeah, somewhere after fermentation okay. is completed, either in the fermenter, um, in the the clearing. Uh, whatever vessel you're using for aging. But you're not like you're not like making the mash with coffee. No, although you could. You could. That's the thing. You, you could, um, but typically you're either brewing coffee and then adding it, or you're adding coffee beans to the fermenter after fermentation is done, and then you're extracting the flavor directly from there. Dude, this is damn good. It's almost like drinking. I told you. So yeah, this is really they're, good. What they're probably doing is they're probably brewing a coffee and then they're adding it because mm -hmm. they want to have very consistent, reproducible results. Yeah. And so you Man. brew your coffee and then you add it till you get to, you add coffee till you get to the place where you want the flavor to be. I like it. People, if you, you like coffee, that? this is phenomenal, I think. Yeah, it says stout with coffee added. It's very scientific. It's, you know, who to thunk it. But I like how it has a kind of a creamy, sweet finish. Yeah. Like yeah. That's what a, she said. There's a lot of bitterness in the middle coming from the dark roasted malt and from the coffee. And then it finishes off with this nice little sweet flavor. Like like you add a touch of cream to your shirt, to your coffee. Just, yeah, it's, it's touch of cream. Just a touch of cream. Just... But I, yeah, I really like this one. I think it's pretty well done. I, I do too. All right, John Eric, go with your, your ranking. <clears throat> I want to put this over ice cream. Just saying. That would actually be really good. Do a, yeah, do a reduction and then pour it on ice cream as a syrup. This might be awesome. Mm, actually. Reduction. Yeah. I, don't even I, I think this is my right favorite now. <laughs> put it right. Just I told you guys. Ice cream soup. Yeah, the Hyperion. <laughs> Instead of I'm a five, float, four, a one, float. two, three. Right. I think. I, think I don't know what that fell means. to last place. <clears throat> really? Yeah. Really? I like okay. it. All right, go ahead. All Steven, right. So I, none of, nobody's going to be surprised. Number one for me is that lager. I like simple, clean beers. Mm -hmm. and, and it, it's um, really good. Yeah. So the first one we had was number one. I think this is number two, um, because doing a complex beer that is balanced is also a very difficult technical challenge and they nailed it so man this is definitely number two i could easily swap um and then uh three and four are the uh are the new england ipas i like the hyperion a little better had more a little bit more of a hot uh punch mm -hmm. uh and then the well, that was number four me. that was number four yeah. yeah number four would be three and then Number three would be four. And then uh, for me, the last one was the mimosa beer. Can juggling numbers. Oh, you didn't like that? You didn't like the mimosa? I mean, I, I that's personal preference. Yeah. I, I think in terms of a beer, I think I think they probably hit the mark they were going for. Um, it had good flavors in it. It's just, I don't like hazy beers. I'm not a fan of fruity beers. Don't really care for mimosas. So, I mean, in terms of personal preferences, they were... had a number of strikes against them. <laughs> in terms of me saying, oh, I love this from beer, that. right? Yeah. But that's not, I mean, in terms of what... Stephen is was, not going to love something outside of his comfort zone. Yeah. If it doesn't taste like a Volkswagen. <laughs> <laughs> if it doesn't smell like burnt oil, he's not in love with it. You know, so after, you, after I park the, the GTI in the garage, if I've been riding hard, you can smell. You get out and smell the clutch? <laughs> no, I, I can smell the burnt oil from the turbo. There's like this just a hint of like burnt oil smell from the turbo. Like, yeah. yeah. You work out You're like trying to put your stout under <laughs> there. all turbid. Just pour a little bit <laughs> <laughs> all right, so the the coffee stout is my number one. Yeah. Uh, my number two is the Mountain Waves. I yeah. really like. I like the it's fruity, the, the dry beer. hop. Um, yeah. I, I like that one. That was yeah. number one. No, that's number two. Two. The okay. stout was number one. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. I mean, of the orders, that was, that was number the first. That was the first one. The first third beer. IP third beer. Third beer. Third beer. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I think then the lager, mm -hmm. because it is really good and crisp and clean. And then the Hyperion, and then the Mimosa. But from my three, four, and five, it's all very narrow. There's no large, like, you could mix them and match them. Yeah, yeah. 
they were all good, but these two to me stood out. I really enjoyed these two a lot. <clears throat> all right, so five is one, three is two. Now fucking talk about the which beers, not just numbers. Um, pressure. So the stout is one. Stout is one. Uh, the first IPA, the Mountain Waves, is two. Okay. So I think oh, you and I are on sync. Save the beer. You know, I'm going to put that. Uh, is there more than one? Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's at the end of the line. Really? really? Yep. Oh. I, I just didn't get anything out of it. Um, Anybody want some more Brutus? <clears throat> heck yeah. I'm at my house. I don't have to drive anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. So your Hyperion was your last. Yeah, so where are you on the mimosa and the lager? Oh, the lager's better than the mimosa. Okay. So I like the apricot. But right. you know, I'm with Steven. I gotta appreciate sorry. Uh, I gotta appreciate a well made beer. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, this this one's good. Plus it's it's, it's, getting, it's getting a little chilly. Yeah, I know. This is a know? great beer. This is the perfect that, yeah. beer for the day. And this is the first stout we've actually uh, I think right. reviewed. Isn't it? Is. it? Uh you're right. I think it is. Yep. And I yeah. used to be a stout guy, so we'll probably have a stout challenge this week this I, winter. Dogs just do that, Steven. So I, I, <laughs> he's okay and i love coffee so i'm i actually yeah. i think i match exactly what john eric said i i don't um you know this one's great um number three was good four was on the edge you know the i'm i'm with uh steven though i really didn't the mimosa was a little weird for me you know and so uh even the even the one was just above that one so i'm, I'm with john eric on this you guys don't like to get outside of your comfort zone I love getting outside of my comfort zone. <laughs> All right, I so try, I'll try anything. That's Once. our review trisexual. of. He'll try what? He's a trisexual. Mud chickens, anything. <laughs> <laughs> you put chickens in this beer? I'll try it. <laughs> chicken nugget IPA. Everything tastes like chicken, <laughs> Stephen. Everything. That's Fair. a no-no, Henry. <laughs> All right, so we're going to. Uh, that's our review of Monocacy Brewing. It was a very cool location. Go check yeah. it out. How's our food? Gonna... Did you guys have food there? No, but they had a taco truck there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but we, they Why were didn't just. Why did you tell us? <laughs> <laughs> Would have been there. You texted you guys. They were just. You didn't they say were about taco truck. Man. They were just firing up the man, taco I truck when we left. Taco trucks on every corner. No, <laughs> no. no. Not true. To find a taco truck no. in Northern Virginia area is like. Uh, didn't they promise the that? Pot of gold, I think. Oh. No, that was a yeah. chicken in every pot. Yeah, no, not a taco know. truck on every corner. No, the, I, I'll they, tell you, the they, last they time we were at a taco truck. Be, oh, together, that's right. That's why was, there is. Yeah. Okay. Right, and, and if Biden wins, there'll be no brewery. suburbs. And how many? Yeah. How much food do we buy? We bought like a oh my god, ton of food. Good. We we left there. Anytime we go anywhere, we went to the biscuit place, and I think each of us had two people, and the ch the lowest expenditure was sixty dollars. <clears throat> Hey, you have to tell them your sad story, though. You had a st sad story visiting this brewery when you came home and then realized what? What did you realize? Oh, what'd you forget? He left his you fucking forget. pretzels and his Nalgene oh. bottle. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh. So, we, yeah, we bought a pallet oh. of beer. Uh, so I'm walking out with my hands full. I got home, went to grab my trusty Nalgene out of the driver's side door, and it wasn't there. <laughs> so I'd immediately go in and take another pee. After peeing, <laughs> after peeing in Chauncey's front yard, <laughs> side yard, side yard, side yard, I had to go take a pee, and I'm like, "Well, I got to drive back." Um, was it there? Yeah, it was. Yeah, that, that's um, the original. I got there. It was probably an hour and a half after I. Left. <clears throat> there were there were a lot more people there too. Like yeah. the entire outdoor area was was uh, full. Except for my table, which nobody wanted to sit down. Yeah, there were pretzels and an algae. There was an oh. open container of pretzels and an algae, so I grabbed it up real quick and just used their bathroom again and then walked and went home. I'll, I'll, I will say that about this area. You piss they, a lot. The area I in general, do. people don't mess with other people's stuff because one Oktoberfest at um, was at uh, the donor. Oh, Small donor. venue. Everybody's getting hammered. Mm -hmm. We were there one day. It was a picture where it looked like it was us three, and it looked like it was oh, on yeah, a yeah. magazine. The, before, when Donor was still at the Mighty Bidget. Yeah. Before they yeah. moved to their new And I left my ACL bottle there, and I'm very particular with my ACL bottles, kind of like y'all with your now jeans. And I was like, holy crap. So I went back an hour later. It was still there, and I was like, this is crazy. Nobody stole it. I was like, yeah. but <laughs> you're not in Texas it. anymore. I know. I am so used to people just like, that's, right. that's mine. <laughs> just like, not even two minutes after you leave. So I don't know. Um, it's I think with COVID, that, that's gone down a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Who yeah, wants yeah. to steal somebody else's <laughs> water bottle? <laughs> Would you like a sip, sir? <laughs> no, I'm good. Thank you. Just a taste. Thanks for the offer. <laughs>
Oh, Jesus. If you want to just pour it on my pants. Do fine. like, you know. <laughs> I didn't know. I, I didn't realize we could just do that. Well, I didn't either. <laughs> I mean, I but like I did start wearing waterproof pants. Yeah. So. Dude, Why did I throw beer at you? I was pouring for like 10 because seconds Because I, I you were saying, you were I, saying about this beer. is like, I wish we could find out what hops were on it. And I looked at the can and there was this heading that said hops. And then underneath it, it was hops. And I said, I said, you know, maybe if you looked under the heading that says hops. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> well, you were on edge that day. You're like, I've had enough of your shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know today. I, don't know. I, think, I think you're right. Yeah. I quit. Uh, I quit the, you. You crossed the line. I man, man, no, I've just, I, life has been stressful the last few months. It has, all been, right? it has been. And yeah. you know what? Yeah, I'm, I pushed I'm, him over. I'm just walking a fine line. <laughs> and I was talking about I, this. I could break at any moment. <laughs> So you, so you good, saying, good thing I have a gun. Okay, everybody, don't point out the hops in the township. I'm Just in the red. And, and the winter's so it's, coming, It's not man. good to keep a race car in the red. <laughs> so, so everybody liked the enjoyable summer where you could get out and pretend that COVID's not here. Right. But the winter is not going to be kind, I'm I think, to cave. people. We're going to be in a cave. Or, or a very long winter pass. Like mm. eight month long, <laughs> or four, where we four get five the virus months. and we like quarantine together. Yeah, <laughs> we just quarantine for two months. And oh, we're all sick together. <laughs> all right, here we are. <laughs> all uh, right, guys, that's we'll our see. review of Monocacy Brewing. Thank you. Yeah, check them out. They're legit. Yeah, they do have a hamburger menu on their website. It's totally <laughs> still easy good. to operate. If you're looking yeah, at it on yeah. mobile, you're going to have to check out the hamburger menu. <laughs> and if you guys continue to support us, maybe by January we will do a review in onesies. <laughs> if we oh, get no, no, they're, they're, if we different get animals, five, they're, they're, we're be different if we animals. get to 500 subscribers, <laughs> we'll do a review in pajamas. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That's got to be a good wait, decision. Wait, my pajamas I don't, are I don't wear pajamas. <laughs> get some, get Ruben some. will be naked. I'll <laughs> be in my underwear. It's way too cold for me to be wearing my pajamas. <laughs> you know, get, get some... Do you do the forbidden blade? Blade, <laughs> blade Runner, Dave style. Oh, oh Jesus! Uh...